Racing fans, welcome to another episode of the big Group 1 racing show for the racing season of 2016-17. Now this weekend, Group 1 racing heads to Perth for the Ascot Racing Carnival and the Railway Stakes is the feature of the weekend. It's going to be an absolute brilliant race. We're going to preview it right here on the show today, so let's not muck around, let's get straight into it. So the James Bogues Premium Railway Stakes is a race ran over the 1600 metre distance at Ascot. It will be this Saturday the 19th of November as I've already mentioned and the race we ran at 5pm local time. That's 8pm if you're living in places such as Victoria, Tasmania and New South Wales. You can watch all the action through the Sky Network on Sky Thoroughbred Central and Sky Racing 1. A bit of a pity that the race isn't on free to wear as it is a, a big race. It's a Group 1 race. Every Group 1 is pretty big so it is a bit of a pity that it's not on free to wear but uh, I'm sure you can watch it online. Here is the odds. So you can see there Perfect Reflection is the favourite. Uh, $5.50. Macintosh is at $7.50. Uh, Regis is at $8.00. Tradesman at $8.50. Scales of Justice is at $11.00. Dispition is at $13.00. Heart Starter at $16.00. Good Project at $15.00. He or She written by Craig Williams is backed by the punters at $17 as well as Life and In My Veins. Kawi is at $21. Ideal Image is at $41. $51 is Neverland. Great Shot is at $61. Zarensis is at $71. Belmont Girl $101. Snowy Chloe, Showy Chloe, sorry, yeah, $126. Tick Tick Bloom also at $126. Portichet rounds off the field with $151 in odds. So that is the field. It's a large field of 19 horses. Uh, a pretty strong field, I must say. There is uh, some quality in this field, so let's not muck around. Let's have a look at the field in depth. We start with number one, Kui. Uh, Michael Walker is on board the New Zealand horse. It's coming out of Barrier 3. Came fourth in its last start at Ascot over the 1400 metre distance. Should settle well in the field, I must say. And, uh, well, it has form in the wet, so if it does... Uh, appear that the track is uh, wet at any stage of the day on Saturday then uh, it could suit this horse because it, because it has some good form in the wet. Uh, if it's at its best I reckon it's a genuine chance of course it is backed by the punters at $21. Might be a roughie. Number two we have Disposition uh, trained by Grant and Alana Williams, and the jockey will be Glenn Smith. It's coming out of barrier 19. A bit of a wide barrier, especially for the 1600 metre journey. Hasn't won over the 1600 metre distance. It came second in its last race at Ascot over the 1400 metre journey. It actually came from the second half of the field to actually come second in that race. Uh, as I mentioned, wide barrier, bit of a concern. Could place though. Number three, we have Pornachet has come last in its last two races, both at Ascot and, uh, well, it's at very large odds. Not in great form. The barrier, barrier 18, a bit of a wide barrier which uh, doesn't help at all. Uh, I'm sorry, not today for this horse. Number four, we have Hiyoshi, who had a very good presence in this year's Spring Racing Carnival in Melbourne. Um, its last two starts suggest that it's probably not in the best of form. Third in the Caulfield Stakes, which of course was against uh, two quality uh, horses in Winks and Blackheart Bard, and then 
Uh, fifth out of the six horses in the Crystal Mile. I put that down to Mooney Valley. I don't think the track suited this horse at all. But you have to look at the form before those uh, last two starts. Uh, it came second in the Underwood over the 1800 metre journey at Caulfield. Before that, it came third out of the 13 horses in the Maccabi Divas Stakes at Flemington. Uh, this horse can, can uh, run the 1600 metre journey and it's actually got a good record at Ascot. So it's backed by the punters at $17. I think that's uh, value odds for a horse that I think is going to be up there in the top five, in my opinion. Uh, barrier 15 uh, should be okay. It should, um, it should adapt to that. And um, yeah, good odds. Uh, top five contender, in my opinion. Number five is a Chris Waller trained horse in good project. Uh, ran in the uh, the Group 1 Contella Stakes on Derby Day where it came 7th out of the 16 horses at Flemington. Uh, Huey Bowman will be aboard this horse. Uh, in fact, uh, it is a type of horse who likes to sit behind the front runners. It may show late as well. So the distance, it will suit. It does like the 1600 metre journey and uh, it could be a chance in my opinion. Number six, we have the favourite in Perfect Reflection. Uh, you might remember earlier in the year, 5th of March to be exact, uh, it came last in the Australian Guineas. Uh, well, since then it's came first, second, third, and in its last race over the 1400 metres it came first and won. That was uh, on the 5th of November. Uh, it's coming out of Barrier 2. William Pike is on board. It uh, has a win range of 1200 metres to 1800 metres. Uh, it had a great win last start at Ascot. It knows the track well. It's uh, no doubt the favourite for a reason, and it should be right up there in the finish. I uh, definitely expect that from this horse. Number seven is McIntosh, who has had a, uh, a presence in the spring racing carnival as well through the Epson in Sydney and the Contella Stakes on Derby Day. It came fifth in the Contella Stakes. Epson, it came third. Uh, Haraki, of course, uh, won that race that day. So two competitive uh, races in its last two starts. And, uh, well, it's very competitive over the 1600 metre distance because those two uh, starts were actually over that distance. So that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I expect it to be uh, up the front early. It probably will be up the front, maybe behind a couple of front runners, but I do expect it to be up the front early. And it could be hard to catch, I reckon. It's uh, If it leads uh, going down the straight, then it uh, might be hard to catch and it should do well. Number eight, we have Light in My Veins coming out of Barrier 9. Uh, came fifth in its last start out of the eight horses at... Ascot on a good four track. Uh, it's a strong finisher, but uh, it does love Ascot, which is uh, a very pleasing thing for this horse going into this uh, what is going to be a good uh, a good race. Uh, has a very low weight as well. It's coming from a 15 uh, 59 kilos rather uh, right down to 53.5 kilograms. So that is a real plus for this horse, and uh, with the low weight, uh, the fact that it loves Ascot, you. Could put it in there as one of the chances, no question about it. Number nine is Regis, a Darren Weir trained horse. Damien Lane will take the ride. It's coming out of barrier 11. Hasn't won over the 1600 metre journey, which is a, a little bit of a query for me. Uh, but it's won, it won its last race on Oaks Day uh, over the 1400 metres, which is a, a very pleasing sign coming into this race because it shows that it's had some good preparation coming in to the railway stakes. It actually came from the second half of the field to uh, actually win that day on Oaks Day. So uh, with a similar weight, uh, it is a first uh, timer at Ascot, but um, it could be a show. Number 10 is Beaumont Girl, uh, came ninth in its last two races, both at Ascot. Likes to slowly build momentum uh, as it uh, eases into the race uh, slowly, which uh, might uh, might not be uh, in its favour uh, in this race. Uh, I think this race is going to be hard for this horse. I do have my doubts, uh, unfortunately. Number 11, we have Heart Starter. Fourth in its last run at Ascot. It's won three of its last five races. So it is in uh, some competitive form and uh, I guess some consistent form as well. Of course, the other two, fourth and third. So that's a pretty good run in its last five races. Uh, has won over the 1600 metre journey. Uh, it's definitely not out of this. It's definitely uh, it's definitely a chance, I reckon. Number 12 is Ideal Image, uh, coming off a, uh, a third place in the RJ Peters over the 1,500 metres on Saturday the 12th 
of November, which was in fact uh, this uh, Saturday past. Uh, it came through the second half of the field that day uh, to place. Uh, not sure if uh, it could do it in uh, in this race, but you never quite know. It has won here before. Uh, it has won over the 1600 metre journey, yeah, but I think this uh, race might just be a little bit uh, tougher, especially for a horse that uh, likes to come from the second half of the field to win. But you can't rule it out. Barrier 17, just the query for me. Number 13 is Neverland, uh, who came 8th in its last start in the RJ Peters, beaten by Heartstarter and Ideal Image that day last start. Uh, it is low on weight. Uh, it is uh, at uh, 53 kilograms, which is pretty low coming into the railway stakes. Uh, I have my doubts though, unfortunately, because uh, its form doesn't quite prove to me that uh, it can be competitive. Uh, from uh, the 8th uh, downwards, it's come 6th, 7th, 3rd and 6th uh, in its last five races. So uh, not the form uh, I would uh, expect uh, coming into uh, a big Group 1 race like this. Number 14, we have Scales of Justice, trained by Lindsay Smith, coming out of Barrier 8. And uh, it has a wind range of 1,100 metres to 1,600 metres. It's won its last two, both at Ascot, one of them over the 1,600 metre journey. So it's in some good form. Even its form before that's been great as well, second, second and first. So it's showing some consistent form coming into this race. Won three of its last five, as I... Uh, you probably just heard just there, uh, he's amongst the favourites in my opinion and uh, should have good speed on pace, uh, I uh, expect it to be up there. Number 15 is Tick Tick Bloom, came 8th uh, in its last race at Ascot, likes coming from behind, um, can't see it being up there though unfortunately. It is a barrier 4, Jason Brown is the uh, jockey. Uh, carrying 53 kilograms, it does have a wind range of 1400 metres to 22 hundred meters. Number 16 is Tradesman, the fourth favorite in the railway stakes for 2016. I believe it's coming off a third place in its last race, which perfect reflection actually won, of course, the favorite for this race. Troy Turner is aboard as the jockey. It's coming out of barrier six, of course, low weight for this horse, uh, 53 kilograms. Uh, it did come from the second half of the field to win and uh, uh, sorry, not to win, to come third, but um, it's definitely uh, definitely up there as one of the chances, of course. Fourth favourite, as I mentioned, backed by the punters uh, at uh, around $8, so uh, definitely one of the chances. Number 17, we have Zerantz, uh, the emergency, one of uh, three emergencies for this race, coming out of barrier five, uh, drops down in weight uh, from 59 to 53, that's pretty, uh, pretty low. In fact, there's a couple of horses who have had that drop down for this race. Uh, does like to settle in the midfield, but um, look, I can't see it challenging the top five. It is at uh, real large odds. So as I just look on the uh, on the field here, seventy one dollars is the uh, the odds that the horse is backed in. Number eighteen, we have Great Shot. Uh, could be one of those horses that could get out and uh, and lead early on, but. Uh, it might not be leading coming down the straight uh, when the horses do catch it. Uh, in its last five races, uh, fifth in the RJ Peters, uh, second uh, three out of the last five. So uh, it's placed a couple of times, but uh, a few times. But uh, yeah, I, I can't see it uh, winning this race. And then finally, we have number 19, uh, uh, Showy Chloe. Uh, Barrier 12 is the barrier it's coming out of. Ninth in the RJ Peters, uh, not in great form. Fifth, eighth, second, second in uh, its last four after, uh, sorry, before uh, the uh, the run at Ascot last start. Um, yeah, I'll leave out. Okay, time now for my tips for the 2016 Railway Stakes in Perth. I'm starting, uh, by the way, actually, before I start, uh, it is a strong field. I actually did go out and pick about 10 horses who I think are actually a chance to win this race, but I can only pick three, and I'm going with McIntosh to win the race. I think uh, this horse has been very competitive in its last two starts. I've been very impressed with its form. Third in the Epson, came to the Contella, uh, to Flemington, and uh, came fifth in that race. Uh, both of those races were over the 1600 metre journey, so... Uh, with Damien Oliver on board, I think this horse is a very, very good chance, and I think it's going to win this race uh, over in Perth 
uh, at uh, Ascot Racecourse. So Macintosh for me. Uh, I've gone the favourite uh, in its second place. Perfect reflection, of course. It will be right up there with Macintosh, no doubt about that. Has some good form at Ascot. Uh, had a good win last start. Uh, came third in uh, the race before that race as well. It's uh, been in some good form. It is carrying uh, 54 kilograms as well. Uh, I just think it's going to come second though, but it's definitely one of the big chances and uh, it's uh, I couldn't go past uh, not slotting it in the top three. So perfect reflection, good form, showing all good signs for this race. I think it's going to come second behind McIntosh. And then my third place horse, I've gone Scales of Justice. Uh, this horse has won three of its last five races. Like I said before, consistent form for this horse. Uh, it's actually... Uh, either placed or come first in its last five. So uh, I like its form and I think it's going to be there at the finish. I think it's going to come third. And then my roughy of the race, I've decided to go he or she. Now, uh, like I mentioned before, this horse doesn't look like it's in the best of form coming over to the railway stakes. But look, in my opinion, I think he can scratch the last two races. Uh, you know, the Crystal Mile, Mooney Valley didn't suit at all that day. And uh, the Caulfield Stakes, uh, you know, look, a, a field of three, uh, you know, against two great horses in Winks and uh, also Black Heart Bard, I, you know, I think you can scratch those two. I like its form beforehand. Uh, did uh, come second in the Underwood over the 1800 metres, third uh, over the 1600 metre journey in the, Mike, in the Maccabi Diva Stakes. Uh, has won over the 1600 metre journey before, has actually been to Ascot quite a few times. It uh, was a bit a while ago now, but it actually has been there a few times and has actually got a good record there and won a few races. So I'm going to go for a bit of a punt and go Hiyoshi, and I wouldn't be surprised if it gets up actually. I think it's definitely going to be there in the top five. It's at good value, $17. I think that's um, that's very, very genuine, I think. Uh, and, uh, you know, it should be shorter, to be honest. But, um, you know, $17 for the value, it uh, it could get up and, and win, in my opinion. So he or she is my roughie of the race for Craig Williams on board. And, um, yeah, that's my tips, my roughie of the race for the Railway Stakes for 2016. And that does it for another episode of the Big Group 1 Racing Show where I previewed the first of three Group 1s coming up in the uh, in Perth as part of the Ascot uh, Racing Carnival. Next week I'll be back with another episode previewing the Winter Bottom Stakes. That will be a ripping, ripping race. 25th of November next Friday is when I'll release that episode. So do stay tuned by pressing the subscribe button. Of course, don't forget to like, comment and share this video as well. So until next week, I'm Jacob. I hope you're back a winner. Bye for now.